Here is how you use the Galaxy Z Flip 6 for beginners. So looking around the phone, if we look at the very bottom here, we have the charging port, we have a speaker, and then we have two microphones. Now if we look at the left hand side, we have the SIM card tray here. On the right hand side, we have the power button and volume down, volume up. At the top, we have two microphones. We have the front camera, and we also have the headphone speaker. This is where you'd hear the audio if you're on a phone call. And then on the back, we have two cameras here, and we also have a cover screen. So if I go to the home screen here, if you swipe up, this will show you where all of your apps are. And you can swipe across to view them. If you want to add an app to the home screen, as by default there aren't many apps there, you long press an app, drag to the top, then drag down, or cross, and release to add that app to your home screen. Now if we swipe down from the top once, we have the quick toggles, so you can tap these to turn on or off Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, swipe to change the brightness. If we swipe down one more time, this reveals more quick toggles and we can swipe across and tap them to select. Under the pencil, you can add more quick toggles which are available as well. Now if we want to take a screenshot of our screen, we just click and release, power and volume down, so click and release these two, that will take a screenshot. It's quite hard to do this one because the uh, buttons feel weird. However, uh, eventually you should be able to get it down. If not, you can take a screenshot of your palm. So it takes a couple of tries, but if you swipe from left to right, let's try that one more time. Try a couple more times here. So to get that one more shot, there we go. A little bit glitchy, but that is also an alternative way. If you long press the power button, you will notice it doesn't bring the power menu it brings this thing called Bixby. Bixby is a voice assistant, so you can ask it commands. Now, if you want to program the power button to show the power menu, you long press both power and volume down together. So long press these two and release when you see this menu. By default, this is how you access the power menu and you can continue to do that. Or you can select the side button settings and then under press and hold, we can select the power off menu. Now when we long press the power button, it shows the power off menu like you would expect on you know, the older phones. Many will be confused by the absence of a charger in the box, but there actually is one. So where it says the Z Flip 6, if you flip this on the other side, there is a hidden leaflet which you can pull out. So you can pull this one out and this has a charging cable and it also has a SIM ejector tool. So you can use the charging cable to charge your Z Flip 6. However, you do have to buy a charging brick and this needs to be a USB-C charging brick. The best one you want to buy is if you Google for the 25 watt charger Samsung and then scroll down and buy the 25 watt super fast charging cable from uh, Samsung, the charging brick, not the cable, then you can use that to charge your Z Flip 6. To insert a SIM card, the SIM ejector tool is in this leaflet, and so we insert the fin end of the tool into the hole of the tray, which is on the left hand side, then we push down, and then we uh, release when the SIM card tray has partially ejected. Use your nails to pull out the SIM card tray. Now to put the actual SIM card in, we're looking for this ridge right here and we want to match the ridge of the SIM card with the tray and it should fit in flush. If not, you need to flip the tray the other way. And so what we need to do is once the SIM card is in, we need to flip the tray, then we just push it in like this, 
and then the SIM card will be inserted. You will have noticed there is one physical SIM card slot. However, you can also use a second SIM if you activate eSIM. If you search how to activate eSIM in CFLIP 6, you'll find my dedicated video. Now let's discuss the camera app. So this button here flips between the front and rear camera. This shutter button takes a picture or starts a video. You can also use the volume buttons as well to do this. We have the zooms, which you can tap to switch between, or you can slide across with your finger if you want a finer zoom control. Now on the flips, there's something special because we have this second screen. So if I tap the button at the top right, it turns on the cover screen preview and you can actually use, you can see here the cover screen to take pictures using the rear camera. The reason why you may want to do this is because the rear camera has a higher quality than the uh, selfie camera. To take a picture here or video, you can either click the volume buttons or you can put your palm in the air. Uh, the palm detection is a little bit glitchy. I was doing a presentation earlier and it took like 10 attempts, but uh, that does work if you want to. Most of these settings here, flash, timer, you can set. These two don't change. This will, if this is on, when you take a picture, it also records a little video and these are filters. Under the video mode, what you may want to be interested in is the video quality. So the higher the size, the more storage the video will take up on your phone, but the better quality of the video. The higher the FPS, the smoother the video looks. This video is being recorded in UHD 60. That's what I personally use. But if you want to save file size, set it to FHD 30 or 60. This man running is a super steady mode. And so when this one is on, if you're walking or running and you want to record, you can record and you know there'll be minimal shake compared to if this one is off. Under more, there are more you know, picture taking modes like the slow motion, the time lapse, etc. The portrait mode is essentially trying to replicate a high quality camera or your eyes. If you look at something close up, the background is blurred. And in the case of this, if I take a picture, the foreground, which is me, stays you know, clear and then it will blur out the background. And there's more camera settings you can change here. If something is grayed out, it's typically the mode you're in or the camera you're using. So if I set this to photo and I go to the rear camera, that typically unlocks most of the settings available. Now with the Z Flip 6, you can have two apps open at once. So if we want to do a split screen, that's what it's called. We'll open the first app, we want a split screen. And there's this white bar here, it's a little bit hidden. If you slide, uh, swipe to the left, it reveals it. And so if we tap the nine dots here, we can then choose a second app to split screen. So you just drag and then drop. And then you can see we can use two apps at once. If we swipe this down, that will remove the split screen. Now with the Z Flip 6, some applications can use this special feature. So back in the camera app, if I fold my phone halfway, you're going to notice that half of the UI is moved to the bottom. The other half is moved to the top. This is useful if in a picture, you know, you want a super steady picture. You can have this like that. You can take a picture and there'll be absolutely no shake. In other apps, you can see there is this icon at the bottom left. And when we tap this, we can then use a trackpad to, you know, control the top part of the application. You can take stuff like a, a screenshot if we want to as well. If your phone is closed like this, you can double tap to wake the cover screen and you can swipe across to view all these different widgets. You can long press and then you can you know, customize the widgets by you know removing them or tap the add to add extra widgets. Now with the power button, if you double click this guy, this will actually quickly open the camera. This is useful if you want to you know, take a photo or video and you need to take it quick. 
On the lock screen, we also have these quick toggles. You know, if you swipe up on them, this one opens camera, and then the other one opens up phone. If you long press on your lock screen, you can now customize it, so you can change what these toggles are. You can change the clock, and you can change the wallpaper. If there's any query or question that's in your mind, you can leave it in the comment, or we'll search it up on YouTube, as I do have lots of videos uh, covering the Z Flip 6. This is just a you know, quick beginner's guide. Uh, my other videos go into more details into specific subjects, and hopefully this helps.